Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to this new video. On this video, you are going to learn how to draw morphological trees in order to see, in order to identify the internal structure of words. So, for example, if I give you the word disobey, the first step that you need to do is to divide, is to break down the word into its morphemes. So, if I, if I divide this word into its morphemes, I will have the morpheme this, okay, which is a prefix, and the root obey, which is a verb, right? So, the second step to draw the morphological tree is to label each morpheme, okay? So, this is a derivational affix and obey is a verb. So, the next step, the third step is to draw the lines, is to link the morphemes with the rest of the word in order to see how the word is structured. In this case, the word disobey only has two morphemes, so we only have to write, to draw, we only have to draw these two lines in this way, okay? You, do, you draw the line here and also another line here and then you link, okay? And you have the verb disobey. So the size of each uh, morphological tree is going to depend on how the word is divided. If, if the word has uh, more than two morphemes or more than three morphemes, then your morphological tree is going to be bigger. Okay, so let's see another example. If you have the word resettled, remember the first step is to divide the, the word into its morphemes. So here we have the morpheme re, the root settle, and the suffix d. Okay, the prefix re, the root settle, and the suffix d. So we have three morphemes here. So that is the first step, okay? Divide the word into its morphemes. Uh, the second step is to label each morpheme, okay? So re is a derivational affix, settle is a verb, remember, it's a verb. Uh, students, if you have a noun here, then you will, you will write a, an N here. If you have an adjective, then you will write a, D, J. If you have an adverb, then you will write A, D, V. So it is going to depend on, on what you have in the word. Okay. In this case, you have a verb. So that's why I write V and V here. Okay. And D is an inflectional affix. So that's why I have to write I plus A, F, F. That is the second step. Remember that. The third step is to link each morpheme. Is to link each morpheme. In this case, we are going to learn to link the prefix re, okay, with the verb settle. And then you have another verb here. Okay, you draw the lines, you draw the lines, and you have another verb, pre-settle. But we are going to link that verb. Uh, so we have to link the different morphemes in order to form uh, the word. Okay, so in this case, we are going to link the verb resettle with the inflectional affix d. Okay, and we will have the word resettled. Uh, complete the morphological tree complete okay you will see here you can see here that you have a verb here resettle is a verb right settle is another verb right and resettled is a verb but the inflectional morpheme is telling you that this verb is in past tense remember that that inflectional uh Inflectional affixes uh, tell you uh, or indicate you um, a grammatical function, okay? Always remember that. So, so remember that inflectional affixes tell you 
or help you to identify a grammatical function in the word. In this case, the morpheme d or the inflectional affix or the suffix d is telling you that this uh, verb is in past tense. So let's continue with another example. Here we have the word insincerity. Insincerity. So this word is a little bit more complicated, it's a little bit more complex, right? Uh, the first thing that you need to do, remember, is to break down the word into its morphemes. In this case, we have three morphemes. The first one is a derivational affix, in, okay? The second one is an adjective, sincere, okay, which is the root, the root of the word. And finally, you have the suffix or derivational affix, I-T-Y, okay, I-T-Y. That is the first step, divide the word into its morpheme. The second step is to label each morpheme, okay? We already did it. Derivational affix in adjective sincere and derivational affix I-T-Y. The third step is to link the morphemes, okay? You are going to link the morphemes. Uh, okay, students, here you will depend on your intuition and also uh, on the word by itself, okay? Uh, in this case, we are going to link the derivational affix in with the adjective sincere in order to form another adjective, in this case, insincere. Sincere is an adjective, but if you add to that root the prefix in, then you will have another adjective, which is insincere. You draw the lines, okay, to link those two morphemes. Finally, you have to link, okay, the derivational affix ity with the adjective um, insincere in order to have a noun, okay? This is a noun. This complete word is a noun. The noun insincerity. So you can see now that you are going to label each part of the word depending on the different combinations that you make, okay? If you combine sincere with in, then you will have another adjective. But if you combine the adjective insincere with a suffix ity, then you will have a noun, the noun insincerity. So students, remember that if you have any question, please let me know, okay? You can write a comment and then I will try, uh, then I will answer any question or doubt that you may have. This is a word, insincerity. Let's see another example here, the, okay, the word unsystematic, unsystematic. Remember, the first step is to break down the word into its morphemes. Here we have three morphemes, the prefix un, which is a derivational affix. You have the noun system, which is, okay, a noun. And you have the derivational affix, okay, in this case is the suffix attic. Unsystematic is the word we are going to analyze, uh, is a word that we are going to use to draw the morphological tree, okay? Uh, here, students, we need to stop. Uh, I, need, I need to explain that you have to analyze the word because you cannot link, uh, you cannot link uh, morphemes by morphemes or uh, the way that you want. No, you have to analyze the word. You can see here that if you link the derivational affix un with a word system, you will have the word uh, on system, okay? But the word, the problem here is that the, the word on system does not exist in English. So you cannot link on with system because that word doesn't exist in English. So in this case, in this specific word, you have to link the noun system with the suffix attic in order to have the adjective systematic. So you link system and attic 
in order to have the word systematic. Okay, after you do this, then you will link the adjective systematic with the prefix un in order to form another adjective which is unsystematic. So you join, you link the adjective systematic with the prefix un to have the word or to have the adjective unsystematic. So you see here now that sometimes the connections that you make in the morphological tree uh, are going to depend on how the word is structured. You cannot uh, link morphemes by morphemes uh, just because you have to draw the tree. No, it is going to depend on the structure of the words that you have there. Systematic is an adjective, but on system does not exist in English. So you can see now that it requires that you analyze, analyze the words, okay? So let's see another example, activations, activations, okay? You can see here, one, two, three, four, five morphemes. You have the root act, okay? The root act, then you have a derivational affix, if, okay, if, the derivational affix eight, the derivational affix shun, and finally the inflectional affix s, okay, that tells you that this word is in plural, okay, is in plural. So the next step, remember, is to link the different morphemes. In this case, we are going to link the verb act with the derivational affix if in order to have the adjective active active okay you can see now that you have a word here active which is an adjective then we have to link that adjective with uh, the derivational affix eight in order to have a verb activate activate is a verb the lexical category verb okay then you have to link that verb with the derivational affix shun, okay, shun, in order to form a noun, a noun, remember that, okay, activation, activation is a noun, and finally you have to connect, you have to link that noun with the inflectional affix okay, in order to have another noun, which is the same noun, but in plural. Remember that inflectional affix uh, tell you uh, a category, a grammatical function. Okay, it has a grammatical function in the word. So now students, you could see here uh, the different steps that you need to follow in order to draw morphological trees correctly. Uh, here I have some exercises, uh, practice, okay, you can draw these, morph the morphological trees for these words, the word unhelpful, okay, try to draw the morphological tree for these words, for these words, unhelpful, jumping, and the word responsibility, okay, remember this one is an adjective, right, unhelpful, jumping is a is a verb and the noun responsibility remember students that if you have if you have any question please let me know i'll be there to guide you to help you on this process okay in this process of learning so it has been a pleasure okay see you on the next video have a nice time